own a Honda Beat or have thought about owning a Honda Beat and you're on the Facebook group and you don't know who we're about to go see right now, you're not locked in. You're not tapped into what's going on right now. TEs and all. Man of the hour. The beat of the hour. The beat of the year. Attention to detail was not missed on this car. Wow, look at the hood pins on the side. I've never seen hood pins on the side. All right, so we're here with Juan's car. Let's learn more about it. Tell me more about this car. This this has to be seen on the world. So you got this how long ago? So uh, I had this car for about seven years now. Seven years, okay. Um, I registered it and drove it around in Japan. Imported it back to the States. Really? Yes, I did. And then in the States, I rebuilt the motor and then I uh, spun a bearing on that new rebuilt motor, and that was during the height of COVID, right? Wow. So it was really hard to get So this was in America it. during COVID? Yeah. Oh, crazy. So then, after that, uh, I swapped the motor with a newer, like, uh, less mileage yeah. you know, motor, and then I brought it to Japan. But when I was bringing it to Japan, I was getting in contact with Deft, yeah. um, the guy that pretty much made it look the way it is that a company or a person? Uh, they are a company. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. They mainly specialize in roadsters and bikes. Like Miatas or like just uh, roadsters, like two-seaters? Like, like, like open wheel roadsters. Mm, okay, okay, so okay. So they, they conform the open wheel roadsters to Japanese standards. Ah. So they, they have to have the fairings over the wheels and stuff like that. And that's the kind of work that they do. And what made you want to get a beat? So the beat originally it was not supposed to be mine okay so i bought this car for a customer i used to uh sling cars to yeah, military yeah. people back in the yeah, day yeah. i had friends who were in auction and then i used them to get cars for people yeah and this car was supposed to be for a customer this exact one this exact one it was supposed to be for a customer but he didn't have the funds to pay me after we already bought the car. Okay. So I gave him time. I gave him months. I gave him a year. Wow. To come up Were with you driving it this whole time? No, it was in storage. Okay, okay, okay. So it was in my friend's lot. Yeah. Um, and he never came up with the money. I was banking that I would get orders to stay in Japan because yeah. I'm in the military. Yeah. And I didn't. So my buddy hit me up and was like, hey, we still have this beat right and i forgot all about it it's like a year later <laughs> yeah and i'm like oh shit what am i gonna do so i posted it up for sale in japan no bites yeah so it was getting crunch time whether i bring the beat back to america or junk it and i couldn't bring myself to junk it yeah no so i registered it and i drove it around cool right in japan and then when it was time for me to to pcs or transfer yeah I brought the beat back with me. Nice. And I even put it up for sale in the States. Again? Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And all I was getting was like, oh, I'll trade you my 300,000 mile truck for it. Yeah. Or a ruckus. Someone wanted me to swap it for a ruckus. Which is a crazy trade. Yeah. So then I was like, mm, maybe I'm just going to hold on to it. I'm going to still keep it up for sale. I was trying to figure out ways to make more money, right? So I took the beat and I started doing uh, uh, Postmates. Okay. So it was great on gas. Right? <laughs> so I was, I was in Virginia, like Postmates, you know what I mean? Delivering people's food. Imagine getting your food delivered in a beat. Yeah. Imagine yeah. that right hand drive beat. Yeah, some of my customers were freaking out. I know, I would be yeah. blown away. I had some people that would meet me, like like in their entrance, and they'll see what I pulled up in, and they're like, what is that little car? Yeah. And I'm like, I'm trying to sell it, but yeah. like, no one really yeah. wanted to buy it. Thank God. So, then, in the middle of one of my uh, deliveries, um, the engine just shut off. Oh, wow. Out of nowhere. Yeah. I, I felt like I maybe bumped the ignition or, or something, but I tried to crank it back over, 
and it wouldn't go. That's when pretty much I started being more active in the Honda Beat page. Yeah, yeah. No, I was and telling him like when I had my beat, I hit you up. Remember, hit you up about like this. Yeah. Hit you up about a bunch of stuff because you're like the B guy. In my opinion, you're the B guy. And I mean like. Yeah. Evidence suggests you even re we'll get into all that, but like yeah. you even got the fabric and made it different colors, ship it to people, yeah. ship the seats. You have an S660 seat yeah. and then the kit, but continue, continue, continue. So then I pulled the distributor out and it was seized. Oh wow. So the the, the problem, the one of the biggest problems with the beat and the engine killer is the distributor. Okay. Like there's a bearing in there and if it corrodes It'll start showing and manifesting its way through like brown powder inside of the, the, the cap. But if you're not really looking for it, you, you don't know what's up. Yeah, it's true. So, well, how did we get to this? Yeah. So, how did we go from trying to sell it in America, trying to sell it in Japan to... To this, right? Yeah, to this. Yeah, to like from like no interest to all of a sudden yeah, on a beat guy. To like probably the most done on beat, one of the most done on beats like ever. All right, so... I didn't even realize the speaker cover. Oh yeah, yeah those yeah. are, mm, we could talk about this. Yeah. So what, well, what it came down to was, while I was doing the deliveries, I was slowly liking the car. Yeah. More more. So you didn't like it initially? Uh, initially, as a, as, a, as a car dealer, yeah. I was just like trying to get it out the door. Yeah. You know what I mean? But did but, you ever think like Cappuccino B A Z one or you were just like... I didn't know any of, anything about... You were just the, flipping. The I was just... I, was just I got you, bucks, I got you, I got you. Right? And I didn't know that the... the ABC. I didn't know about the ABC yeah. until later on down the road. It's so crazy. Like it's so crazy to finally see this in person. I feel like no nothing was missed. Like so as someone I, that's owned a beat, there's so many little attention to detail things that people might not notice. Like even stuff like this. Yeah. Like am I oh it's just a normal scoop? Like the fact that this is blue. This is blue. Belt, like, yeah, the seat belts. The, 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 this the this is like kit. kind of like the Mm -hmm. More expensive version of it, the T37s, the blue lug nuts, yeah, those are still lug nuts. the mirrors, the yeah, fact the that this, the mean, fact that this is here, yeah. the moon eyes, yellow tension to detail, blue calipers, but even the cover, the speaker covers, yeah, yeah the speaker right. covers. So this is actually my uh, my blue and yellow Honda Beat fabric. You want to see what's going on like in the front? Yeah, yeah of course. Yeah. Do I? There's, there's more to see. Do just... I? I want to pop the trunk. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. So everything is super clean. Yeah, look at that. Put that there like that. And I even powder coated the... I was going to say there. the tension yeah. and detail on that. And then I got a... I got a... Uh, Lugan, a Lugan sock and, and a spoon then, sock. Yeah. Nice. I haven't seen this on many beats before. Like oh, the, yeah, the, the carbon. Yeah, I had a normal one, but not that type. Yeah, not the it, one. It, it also holds the brake. Oh, wow. wow. Mm -hmm. So did they like fully paint the car? They take everything off, paint the whole car? Yeah, so like you see here, it's all painted. Yeah. Um, they removed all of this stuff and uh, they painted the, the frame and stuff. Yeah. Even inside, like the wheels and everything, there's all these black yeah. stuff. Yeah. Well, if you take a look at this, I'm nervous see to see what's going on right now. If yeah. this is an intake, I'm gonna blow my load. Oh, oh my! Wow! I had a feeling. Remember when I, I told you about the whale? This yeah. is like the whale version of it. Oh my god! And that's then, like, ingenious. Again, with the, with the yeah, I see thing. this. Yeah, this is fresh. Yep, that's a brand new one. Yeah. So is this carbon fiber too, or is this um, this fiberglass? Is, this is this is fiberglass. Okay. Yeah. I've never seen this trunk ever. Have you seen another one with this? Uh, I've seen them for sale once before. Okay. Yeah. Um, they're extremely rare. Yeah. yeah I mean, it so seems like it. I I missed the opportunity on one like six years ago, right? So as soon as I saw I saw it for sale, I yeah. Got it. With the uh, with the matching. Uh, oh, this is like a pair. Yeah, it's a set. Nice. Yeah, you definitely. Could. Yeah, it's obviously OEM, I guess. When I, yeah. Does it have the the individual trumpets on it? Uh, I have it. I have them, okay. but I just haven't installed them. Like I said, yeah. I still have a lot of like, projects that I need to complete. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, it's been in body work for the past you know year or so. And what? Where's this wing off? This is actually the OEM spoiler on a riser. A riser? Oh. Yeah. What's that? Like, it just oh, lifts it up. 
Yeah. I thought so, Riser was like a car. No, no, no. So, originally, right? Oh, I literally, I get what you're saying. You literally, it, it just yeah. raised it up. This is carbon fiber too. Where uh, is this off though? Like, where where does one find this? This is Deft. Oh, the same company did the body kit. Got gotcha, you, got gotcha, you, got gotcha, you, got gotcha. you. They make them. Yeah, that is sick. Yeah. If you yeah. take a look here, I left I left clues all over the place to let you know it's carbon fiber. Yeah. Right. So. Oh yeah, like that. The whole part. bumper is carbon fiber. I painted over this area right here, and you can see the carbon fiber here. Yeah. But the whole trunk is carbon fiber. I actually have a lip for this too, but because it still has the OEM exhaust installed yeah. uh, with the lip. Uh, it does not uh, fit. Okay. So the bolt right here. Those are the holes for it. Yeah. Too. My plan is to get a one-off exhaust made that comes out of this. Mm. Oh, that'd be so sweet. Yeah. yeah. Both of them are just one. No, like, both. It's gonna be dual. Yeah, that'd be fire. Do you have a hard top for it again or no? I do. Really? Yeah, I do. It's actually the rarest big hard top you can find. Oh, Maybe. I've seen it. It's like the cappuccino, no? Yeah. Yeah, I've seen it. I've seen oh, it. Where it's like right. the half top. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen yeah, it. It's like it's like kind of tea top ish. Yeah. Yeah. I have one of those. I am the second beat that has this system installed. The first beat is their demo car. Nice. So you're the first. So I'm the first customer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they don't typically do this because nice. I pretty much fanboyed over their work. Yeah. I got my car like uh, drawn with their kit on it, and I submitted that. Initially, they didn't want to work with me because I didn't. Really? I didn't speak too much Japanese. Mm. You know what I mean, like. Fluently. Gaijin, you know, Gaijin, they said. Yeah, so they, yeah. Didn't, they didn't really want to work with me, but I fanboyed out and like got stuff made with their with their kit on it and stuff. And yeah. they were like, you know what? He's, what? He is a You fan. deserve it. You deserve it. So they, they, they actually uh, found a guy that spoke English and uh, I did my interactions with nice. him. Nice. Uh, yeah. It's cool when they finally let, you know, somebody in that they don't normally let in. Cause yeah. Uh, even the front so the front bumper is also carbon fiber yes and i'm gonna go ahead and spoil this right here yeah right but fog lamp switch yeah right mine's is black the original one yeah is uh gray gray yeah, it yeah, is it's this. like a gray they're right? expensive too yeah <laughs> who are you yeah. telling? Bro, who are you yeah. telling? You know, I, I wanted it. I was like, how is this like, $120 just to switch? Just to switch. Yeah. You know what? Not even fog lights. Uh, bin prelude switch, same thing. Mm. Except for it's black. Which is better. Which is like well, I guess the bucks. dash is gray, yeah. so yeah, but still. I mean, my car is black. Yeah. You know, yeah. Black and blue in there. Yeah. So it, it goes. You know what I mean? But I just, you know, I just had to show off that button. Yeah, you know no. What I mean? That's a big deal. <laughs> I wanted that button badly. Uh -huh. And then vertex steering wheel with disconnect. <laughs> That's sick. Um, this steering wheel was actually for my R32 GTR uh -huh. that I sold, but I never put it on. Um, so I was like, yeah, let's put it in the beat. That's sick. And it has attention to detail blue. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Let's take a look car. at the interior. Yeah. They cut this out in like carbon fiber side skirts. Yellow seatbelt on this side. Blue seatbelt on this side. Custom yellow and blue carpet. Shout out to this dude. He's also a really big B guy. Wow, this carbon fiber over here too. I think I've seen these a couple times on Yahoo Auction. 107,000 kilometers. This is also different too because on the normal beats, this is actually up there. So he has a double din, which is sick. Even this is blue. Oh my goodness. The fun stuff doesn't stop. I've never even seen this in any car. Yellow calipers in the back. Blue in the front. And those are also not stock calipers. Those, those are, are from the, the bigger ones, those, right? are, those are Civic uh, rotors and calipers. Nice. Did you have to do a lot to bolt them up? Nope. Or no? They just bolt right up. Okay. And uh, look how much space I have between the wheels. I know. I see that. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was literally... You can... You can, I don't know, I don't have words for it. So the big question is, is there anything else major that you're going to do? Or is it just tidying it up? Like, are we getting a turbo swap? Um, are we getting so a... My next uh, performance upgrade is going to be uh, engine management. Okay. So, um, Cozy Lights CLR, they have a 
a kit to d delete the distributor, mm. right? And uh, do uh, call over plug. Mm. And the kit comes with everything you need from crank position sensor, uh, crank pulley, with all that stuff attached to it, so you can get the signal. Um, yeah, the entire the, the entire kit with the ECU and everything. So that's that's my next biggest yeah uh, investment. But you know, I gotta sell. Gotta sell yeah, yeah, no, for sure. Uh, speaking of stuff, since you gave me stuff, I gave you stuff. Chill, man. I just came to bring you some stuff. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah. Should I open it now? Uh, you can, if yeah. you want. Let's see. We got my three spokes back here. I opened one of them. Is it shirts or towels? Uh, no, this is a towel from uh, Seeing Corbett. Ooh, it's uh, a bead. So it's a bead, yeah. He gave me uh, a bunch of them Yeah. Uh, for me to uh, sell here. I'm going to use right. this while I'm here. So, yeah, you can definitely, one for him, one yeah, for you. Once appreciate a yellow, it. once yellow, I mean, once white and once red. Is this, is this an AC1? Yeah. It's what AC1 is this? Oh, it's like an action figure? This is yeah, this fire. Is, this, this was a uh, show back in Japan, actually. Blue it, SWAT? It's called Blue SWAT. Yeah. Right? And uh, this was the the car for the, the show. The car for the show? Yeah. This is crazy. The fact they did, that they did like this weird exoskeleton. Yeah. It's it's worth a Google. Yeah, no, no. I'm definitely yeah. gonna look it up. This is crazy. Yeah. Some of the stuff kind of fell off because you know it's in yeah. the case or whatever. No, nah, this is cool. Uh, really appreciate it. Nah, man, this thing is so cool. I'm happy I was able to see it just because I've seen it on the internet a thousand times. I've seen it on the Facebook groups. I'm in Japan, like you know, what's the chances? And seeing it in person, like it doesn't do it justice. Like you have to like touch it and see all the little attention to detail like even this looks new like i feel like even this you either powder coated like it looks very uh, black i uh polished I, uh, it i polished it up yeah yeah even these are not rusted out like everybody else's yeah. you have the caps on both sides mm -hmm. and they're fastened yeah yeah no nah, even back here with the the custom yellow and blue this top itself looks like it's really good shape. Uh, that's because it's new. It's new? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it looks new. Yeah. Nah, this thing is so sick. Hopefully the camera and everybody sees all the work that went into this. Shout out to Juan. Shout out to you guys watching this video. Road to 100K. We're still in Japan for another 15 days. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace out. Remember the name. This is way before the fame.